It is possible to grow and change in a very meaningful way. However, in order to do this, it becomes necessary to realize that we do not possess certain qualities that we believe we possess. And these qualities are very specific. We do not possess any real inner unity. We do not possess the ability to do, and we do not really possess willpower or will. And these are all intimately related. The problem is we have a head brain, the words and picture maker, where our beliefs form, where our words exist. We have a body brain. This is capable of learning to ride a bicycle, to walk, it's actually very instrumental in speech because of the muscular movement. We also have a feeling brain responsible for our emotions. And for a normal person, for a person who hasn't begun to work on themselves and to develop themselves, these three brains clash with each other and never really operate with any kind of unity. For instance, the head brain the words and picture maker, where our beliefs form. One night we're reading a magazine about health and fitness and how it will prolong our life and improve the quality of our life. And so the head brain imagines getting up the next day and going jogging and all the health benefits that will accrue from it. So the head brain sets the alarm as we go to bed that night. 6 a.m. rolls around, the alarm rings, it wakes us up. But rather than the head brain waking up, it's the body brain. And the body brain needs more sleep, it needs more rest. It's grumpy in the morning, so it turns the alarm off and we go back to sleep. And then later on, when we realize what we've done, we sort of feel like we can't do anything right and our feeling brain comes in. And you know, feelings of hopelessness and worthlessness and how we never get anything done. And it's the competition. It's the continual dominance of one brain over the other, over the other, that prevents us from really doing anything. It prevents us from having any real willpower. Anyone who's ever tried to stop smoking cigarettes knows that there are very strong competing parts within ourselves. One part wants to smoke, the other part doesn't want to smoke. And there's this great struggle between them. So learning how to grow, learning how to evolve, first involves self-study. We have to look inwards. We have to focus on these disparate parts of our being. We've got to see how contradictory their various impulses are, how they take us this way and that way. And the ability to do, the ability to have willpower, to develop will, is a function of the harmonization of these brains. So when two of them work together, we have a greater ability to do we have more will, and when three of them work together, then we experience inner unity, and from this united position, we can then begin to do things, we have real will, we can really then begin to change and direct the course of our life. Of course, it takes many years to do this, and the first step involves self-observation, and self-study so we look inwards and we pay attention and we realize that when we contradict ourselves it's different parts competing with each other and after a while after a lot of self-observation after a lot of self-study hopefully we will be able to bring them more and more into unity fixing those different parts and bringing them into a proper balance so that we become three-brained beings operating with an internal unity inside ourselves. Healing Mind, Body and Feelings 
the Toronto hypnotherapist.